out on the field, and you've got Smith and Steiner back, Jim, back at their own eight-yard line. They're two leading rushers. And we're just about set for battle. Smith is on the near side, Steiner on the far side. They're at the west end of the field. The flag is blowing, the American flag is blowing. Looks like the wind's out of the southwest. Cameron Johnson is set to kick it. This is a, about a big game, Jim, in week 11 as you could possibly have. This is a heavyweight matchup on both sides of the ball for 2A football. Johnson is ready to kick and we are Ready to go, the Indians in their road, white jerseys, black pants, black numerals, red trim, black helmets, the big red DQ. Johnson kick is a line drive in the air. It's going to be fielded by Steiner. He fumbles it, picks it up. He's at the 20, makes a man miss, and there's a loose ball. There's a scramble at the 29-yard line. DuCoin thinks they have it, and they do. What a way to start on the Sam road, Steve. Sam Zettler. Sam Zettler or Anthony Spiller, maybe Shamar Adams. Ducoin has it at the Tri-Valley 29. You need those breaks when you're on the road. Sometimes you got to make those breaks happen, and it looks like we did, Steve. Somebody got a hand in there and forced that fumble. Well, I think it starts, Jim, with the kick because Cameron Johnson's kick was a real knuckleball, and I don't think Steiner ever got good possession of it. Pick 33 is one end, Hunter Merritt, 6'4", 203 pounds. 52 is the other end, Evan Shook, 5'11", 200. Indians come to the line, high formation, Clary and Fournier, Spiller's a wing back on the near side. Vogel, Fournier, Fournier, bust through, down to the 25. And number four, Zachary Simon may have saved a touchdown. Right there, last week he started out that way. There, The hole was there, and that's good to see in the first series here. First play. Second down and five. The ball resting at the 25. Ducoin needs to get just past the 20 for a first down. Will Woodside flanked out to the far side. Jones the tight end on the near side. Quick pitch out to Fournier. Fournier looking to get outside, turns the corner. He's still running. He's still running, and he's out of bounds down inside the 10, down near the 7. Ducoin dodged a couple bullets there, Jim, because the snap, Vogel had a hard time getting it, and he's, uh, the pitch to Fournier looked a little, a little slow, but Ducoin's got a first and goal down around the 8-yard line. Good to see Zane breaking some tackles there, Steve. Same formation. This time Jones is lined up. Now they're going to switch. Spiller and Jones. Got him confused right now. High formation. Fournier cuts back, cuts up the middle. Touchdown untouched. The coin draws first blood at the 10-51 mark. Six to nothing. Eight yards. Zane Fournier. Three carries, 29 yards. One touchdown. Great blocking by offensive line on those first three plays, Steve. Johnson will kick it. Spiller will hold it. Braden Lee will snap it. But low snap. Kick is up and it's no good. So the Tri-Valley Ball Club dodges a little bit of a bullet after the touchdown. It's 6-0. This is Indian football on the road to Champaign on WDQN. Prescription insurance and offers competitive prices. Oh, no. Stop in and ask Get them out. about their immunization shop. The medicine shop pharmacy on Main Street in downtown DuCoin. He got it! Oh, oh yeah! He stripped it! Ashton Smith strips the ball from Evan awesome. Smith. We've got a flag on the far side. It's another touchdown at this time for the Indians. Let's see what the flag is. That's in the neighborhood of probably an offsides, Jim. I would think. Ashton Smith ripped the ball from Evan Smith at around the 25-yard line and ran in for a touchdown.
Let's see what we're going to do. Here is the call. Touchdown. The sideline warning on Ducoin. So the Indians now will go for two here at the 1042 mark of the first quarter, leading 12 to nothing. The Vikings have already turned it over twice on consecutive kickoffs. Here comes the Indian offense on the field. Ball is in the middle of the field at the three yard line. Here they come. And they, Ducoy needs another guy on the field. Clary. Clary in this stack eye. They were missing the middle man. Here we go. And it's a pitch out to Fournier. Fournier chasing the goal line and he dives in as he get in. No, he does not. A wide pitch to the far side. And Fournier did not get in. And Jim, that shows you the quickness of that defense. The Tri-Valley Ball Club, they closed quickly. And they've yet to run a snap and Ducoin is leading 12 to nothing. And Tri-Valley will try to keep it the ball this time. I thought he was going to walk in with that, so you definitely got to see the speed there. You very rarely do you not see Zane able to get the, tor the corner turned. We'll just keep it here. We've had so much fireworks in the first minute and a half of this game. We're not. It's 10:42 on the clock, and Ducoin leads it 12 to nothing. Well, if you're gonna draw up a start. <laughs> Other than the two missed extra points, this is the way to do it. Here comes Johnson's kick. High floater is Smith. Smith fields it at the 5. He's at the 10. Comes up near side. 15. He's leveled. Clary levels him at the 25-yard line. Anthony Spiller was in there, too. Now here come the Vikings. And for the early going, Jim, Evan Smith took two pretty good hits yes. on the kickoff and both kickoff returns. So here come the Tri-Valley Ball Club, their quarterback, 6'3", 165, Aaron Koosman. He's got an eye set behind him. The fullback is Nelson, 180-pounder. Smith's behind him. And it's going to be Smith, and Smith is going to be hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Clary and Jones, Devin Jones and Braden Lee. And when you talk about the decoy defense, Jim, and you, you better mention those three gentlemen before you get to talk, start going. To, they did give him two yards up to the 27. And they come out with a wide out, two wide outs. Here comes the tight end. He's going to shift to the strong side, the wide side of the field. And it's going to be Smith. And Smith is going to be hit and stopped at the 30. He'll get a couple. It's going to be third down and legitimately five yards to go. Tough play call here when you're Tri-Valley. You want to try to get something to get going with the way they started here. So... Uh, Look for some play action here, maybe early going on, Steve. 12 nothing, Ducoin Lady. Two wide outs to the near side, one on the far side. Here comes Smith in motion. And they're going to throw, and they throw down the middle, and the guy falls down. It's going to be pass interference. Clary. Clary ran into Steiner, and it's going to be a first down for the Tri Valley Club up at the 40. Yard line, that ball was not going to be caught, Jim. I don't no. think. And Clary, it really just kind of he hit him, but he. Yes, yes, yes. It didn't look like he was even going out with him in coverage right no. there. No, like he ran into him. It was definitely a penalty, though. Yeah. <laughs> now they come with a different looking set. 
Like a Nashville looking set. Two wing backs. It's going to be the full. No, the quarterback's going to keep it. No, the fullback has it. And he goes nowhere. Boy, you saw how they execute there, Jim, because Jared Nelson, he had it. And I was following the quarterback. Higgins, Kellen Higgins makes the play. Indians lead at 12 0 on two turnovers on the kickoffs. The coins, Zane Fournier scored early. And then Ashton Smith picked up a strip ball and ran it in. Cushman sends a, his big tight end to reset. Merritt is set. Here comes the handoff. And it's going to be the fullback. Jared Nelson and he gets down over midfield to the 47 it's going to be third down Jim in about three and you're starting to see what this Tri-Valley offense can do yeah you're going to have to be uh, execute play assignment football because it looks like they're wanting to do a little option and read off of our defensive ends double wing Nelson's the fullback behind Cushman. Now they're going to set the tight end on the near side. He sends Smith in motion. Now he's in an eye. Now he comes back on the near side. And now they're going to send another man coming. And it's going to be the fullback. And he's got the first down down to the 40. Jared Nelson. Right now, Jim, they're using Smith and Steiner as a couple of decoys. Yeah, they did a lot of moving around right there, trying to get Ducoin's defense to shift, and we didn't. Josh Roop sends in number two, Mason Cagley, with the play. 7.25 left there in the opening quarter. It's 12-0 or nothing, Ducoin leading. Their kickoff team causing two turnovers. Now a double wing set. Cushman. Since Smith going, he's going to throw. He throws for he throws for all the marbles, and the guy's wide open, and he's overthrown. There's a is that a flag down there at the or a leaf? What is that? That must be. It's not a flag, I don't no. think. Nope. Second down and ten. They were going for all the marbles, and uh, the guy was open. Ran a little out and up. They faked on the out. We bit on it. And the thing I like, Jim, if, or not like, but. The Tri Valley offensive line, it gave Cusman uh, a long time to throw that ball. Yeah, it's a good job by McBride to get back there. Second and 10, down at the 40, double wing set. Cusman is going to reset the tight end. Here comes a man in motion, and it's going to be Steiner, and he's got a corner turn, and he's down the sidelines, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds by Gross down at the 20. Jet sweep to the near side. And the Vikings are in business now down at the 20-yard line. 6.57 left here in the first quarter. Fournier has scored. Ashton Smith on a defensive turnover has scored. New coins missed both extra points. And here is Cusman under center. Merritt will set on the near side tight end. Here comes a man in motion, and it's going to be the fullback up the middle, and he's going to race down inside the five to the one. They are baiting Ducoin, Jim, with these fakes to the outside, and Nelson, the big fullback, has really ran it down the Indians' throats on this drive down to the one. Yeah, he's had carries of seven and 19, and then Steiner's got that carry of 20. We had been holding him. And... To Nelson will get in for a touchdown. Just a basic fullback dive. And Jim, I see where the, the Tri-Valley Ball Club, they are attacking the left side of an Indian defense here in the early going. Now a big extra points coming from Jake Ward. He could cut into this 12-6 lead, make it 12-7. Soccer style kicker. High snap, but they get it down, the kick is up, and it's good. Good point 12, Tri-Valley 7, 
6.44 left in the first quarter. You're listening to Indian football on the road to Champaign on WDQN. 4425285. They're home owned and operated. Get out. And Jake Ward's kick, the little looper, sailed out of bounds at the 27. And Duke Coyne will start up at the 35. Well, Jim, you called for 80 points. <laughs> and we're well within. We've already had 19, and we haven't played a half a quarter yet. It, it just looked like these uh, two high-powered offenses going at it, Steve. And Tri-Valley spotted the Indians on two turnovers, 12 points. It'll be first and 10 for the Indians. Vogel comes out. Breaks the huddle. Indians come to the line. Woodside to wide out to the near side. I formation. The spiller, the wing back. Him and Jones reset. And there's a fumble. And Vogel picks it up. And he's stopped at the 34. So uh, it's clear now, Jim, that or here that Tri Valley has the momentum temporarily anyway. Right. Good job by Caleb there not to panic. Get the ball secured, and uh, you don't want to turn it over down here right now. Second down and 11. They got three down linemen, seven guys on the line of scrimmage. Vogel's going to throw. He's under pressure. He throws it, and he throws it away. It's going to be third and 11. That's a good smart throw away it, by Caleb Vogel. It really was. Did a good job of avoiding the sack. Tried to give some guys some time to get open, but ultimately he threw it away, and that was a great decision. The Tri-Valley fans have caught their breath, and now they're back into the game. Got the 6-0-2 mark here in the first quarter. Smith comes in, third and 11, Ashton Smith is in the game, so is Jordan Edwards, Fournier is in the backfield, now Smith resets on the near side, DeCoin will need time. Good call though, A game like this, if they're not ready or something's wrong, we will take time as well. Timeout, DuCoin, 12-7. They lead it. This is Indian football on WDQN. Indians break the huddle. Third down and 11 from their own 34. Edwards to the near side. Woodside and Will or Ashton Smith to the far side. And Vogel's going to throw. He throws, and it's caught by Woodside for a first down. Down at the 46-yard line. Will Woodside, a junior, 6'1", 165-pounder, has really came into his own gym the last few weeks. He really has. As a Caleb had some a good time to throw there. Great route by Will, and uh, that's that's was a great-looking play, Steve. He really had to stretch out to yep. get the football, and he did. Ball's resting down at the 46 of Tri-Valley. Clary is a wing back. Fournier, here comes McBride. And they're going to give it to McBride, and he's not going to get much. And you're seeing the speed of the defense. Wow. As they stop McBride on a jet sweep at the 47. I think you're going to have to. That's two plays, Jim, that every game this year would have been yardage makers. The two-point try by Fournier. And that play. Talking about two of the quickest kids on the team here. So uh, definitely Tri-Valley's got some speed on the outside of that defense. Second down and 11. Fournier. Wishbone set with Clary and Spiller. And it's going to be Vogel. He pitches it out to Spiller. Spiller turning the corner down the sidelines. He's going to have a first down and out of bounds at the 30. Excellent execution of the option game. 
out of the wishbone set. They faked it to Clary. Vogel did, and he pitched it out to Spiller. Spiller races down inside the 30, the 28-yard line, first down. 20-plus yards on that pickup right there. Longest play from scrimmage for Ducoin. I formation now. Two wideouts to the short side of the field, the far side. Vogel. Going to throw. Looking. Looking. Throws for Jones, and it's through his hands incomplete down at the 15. Like about that, Steve, there are a couple options out there. Uh, it looked like there's some po options or possibilities there in the passing game. Second down and ten, and the good thing here from the 28, you're 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 going to go for it on fourth down no matter what. 4:19 left here in the uh, first quarter. Jones had his hands on that ball, and that's a good sign that he was open because everybody in the house ought to know he's going to be one of the main targets. Vogel changes the play, changes the play. Here comes Fournier. Fournier, he stopped down at the 25. It's going to be third down and about seven, maybe eight. Indian fans ring one side of the field. Vikings fans ring the other. Seven for the Indians. 3.53 and counting in the first quarter. It's a 12-7 game. Indians on top. From the pistol, Fournier is the lone back. Vogel's going to roll right. He's got a man open. It's Jones. And Jones is going to be chased out down at the 20-yard line. It will not be enough for a first down. By a couple yards, it's going to be fourth down and about three, it looks like. And, Jim, did you see how open Jordan Edwards was yes. on that play? So it's going to be fourth down and about three. From the 20, the Indians need to get to the 17-yard line, we'll say. be a good time to jump the Tri-Valley team off sides. Yes, it would. Wood side of the far side, wing eye formation. They reset to the wide side. Fournier. Fournier dives and he gets down near the 16, 17. It's going to be close. Let's see where they spot it. This will be a measurement. Nope, first down, Ducoin. Just power football, Jim. Well, that's a great pickup right there. Great blocking by the line. They fired off the ball, stayed low, and gave him just enough to get there. What do you think, Viking Nation, the end zone is here yet? Balls at the 17. 2.38 left in the quarter. Decoy leading by five. Lone back. Quick pitch to Fournier. Fournier in trouble. He'll be stuffed under, and here comes a flag, and it's probably going to be a holding call on Ducoin. They tried a quick snap and a quick pitch, and it didn't work. You know, and I liked it. I thought it was going to. We had their defense confused, and they were moving around right there, but, man, they fly to the football. This is going to be a big mark off from about the 23-yard line. It's a holding call on Ducoin. That one hurts. So you had it at the 17. And they're going to march this off from the 21. So it's going to be uh, sec first down and 24, I would suspect. With 227 left on the game clock. Good thing about that, Jim, is it opens up your passing game to all your passing plays. Yep. You got four downs. You're going for it regardless down here. So. And I like our, uh, like our chances with the passing game right now from what we see. From the pistol. Wood side to one side, Smith and Edwards to the near side. Jones resets to the far side. And Vogel's going to roll right. He's going to throw to Edwards. Edwards has it. He gets some of the yardage back down to about the 25. So it's going to be second down. He got a good gain down to the 22. He got more than what it looked like from yes. up here. Yeah, he did. Second down and 15. He got 10 yards. 
A minute 45 left in the quarter, New Coin 12, Tri Valley 7. Ball resting at the 23 yard line. Wood side to the far side. Eye formation, the wing back is Spiller behind Jones, the tight end on the near side. Here comes Fournier, and he's stuffed. No gain on the play at the 22. It's going to be third down in this right side, Jim, of the defense. There was three or four blue shirts hit the white 27. Balls on the near hash. Third down and 15 from the 22. Vogel gets the play from A.J. Hill. This might be the last play of the first quarter. Ducoin leading 12 to 7. Woodside out wide. Tight end eye formation, the near side. And Vogel's going to roll it. He's going to turn it, and he's going to turn it up and go. And he's going to get in for a touchdown. What a block by Will Woodside. Yes, sir. Some folks on this side of the field wanted to hold, but they got none. And Ducoin now is up 18-7, to and they'll go for two. A play-action fake where Vogel saw the open field and just turned it up and raced 22 yards untouched, mainly because of that downfield block by Will Woodside. Now Nick Cole comes in at that second tight end, the big sophomore, wearing number 91 today. The Indians could really use to a good two-point conversion here. Stack eye formation. Vogel. Fournier. Fournier. Untouched. Oh, no, it's a pass play to Jones for two. Boy, they filled everybody in the house. Fournier went to the left, and Jones slipped out to the right, and Devin Jones picks up the two-pointer from, from uh, Vogel, untouched in the corner, wide open he was, and it's 20 to 7. This is Indian football on WDQN. That our top priority is personal service. It's why Banterra is the region's largest locally owned community bank. We offer convenient online uh -oh. and mobile banking, mobile check deposit, online mortgage services, and have over 25 Denver just saved a touchdown. Yep. Banterra Bank, proud supporter of Southern Illinois high school sports. Member, FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Sam Zettler may have just saved a touchdown as Jacob Steiner ran the ball back from about the 7 out to the 37 with 25 seconds left on the clock. Here in the first quarter, the Tri-Valley Club comes to the ball. Wide out to the far side. Double wing. Nelson's the fullback. Here comes, they're going to reset the, the end. Now here comes a man in motion, and it's going to be an inside trap to Smith. He breaks a tackle, and he's going to be driven backwards for no gain. Inside, a little like a cross buck action and he gets up to the 39 and that will be the last play of the first quarter. Our score after one quarter from Downs, Ducoin 20, Tri-Valley 7. This is Indian football on the road to Champaign on WDQN. Well we start the second quarter. Dry Valley's got the football. At the 39, second down and eight. And they're going to hand it to Steiner, and he's going to try to get outside, and he will do so partly, and he's raced, chased out up at the 48 yard line. There you see Jim the speed of Jacob Steiner. It looked like DeCoin was going to stretch him out and have him hold up along the line of scrimmage, but he got about nine yards on the play. And it's going to be second down and very short. Or third, I guess, first down, rather. First down. Ball at the 48-yard line. Well, the defensive touchdown that Ashton Smith scored, stripping the ball on the kickoff may loom large because neither team has stopped the other yet. 
They're going to throw. It's in the dirt, incomplete. They were looking to go out to the big tight end, Hunter Merritt. They thought he was uncovered. We were trying to get our corner situated, and for a second he was, but uh, Anthony Spiller caught, saw that he was open and ran out there at the last second. Second down and 10 from the Tri-Valley, 48. Just underway here in the second quarter, DeCoin leading 20 to 7. Double wing set for the Vikings. And it's going to be Smith, and he's not going to go far. Ashton's, and there's a fumble, he stripped it again. again. Smith has stripped it again from Evan Smith. Ashton Smith has stripped it again from Evan Smith, and Ducoin's got it first down at the 49. Ducoin has recovered at the 49-yard line. Ashton Smith has stripped the ball from Evan Smith twice in this first half. And Ducoin has it. It was a heck of a play, a high tackle by Ashton Smith, Jim. And the Indians have it. That's the third Tri-Valley turnover here in the half. And Ducoin has it at their own 49, first and 10. Kevin Lee and Will Woodside are flanked out. Spiller is the fullback. He's going to get it. He's going to go nowhere. Spiller on the fullback dive goes nowhere. Duke Coins had a tough time opening up the middle since that first series. Been held to four yards, five yards, two yards, and three yards, and now the last two carries are for no gain. High formation, Spillers a fullback with four and air. Option, pitch, four and air fumbles it, picks it up, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and runs out of bounds. That play had some promise. It did. Good job of getting back to at least the line of scrimmage third, there. Third down and 10 from the 49. Eleven oh one left as Fournier ran out of bounds. Ashton Smith comes in, Clary comes in, and Devin Jones and Spiller check out. That means it's going to be they're going to spread the field. Third down and about ten and a half. Woodside and Smith to the near side. Tevin Lee to the far side. Vogel going to throw. He's under pressure. He's going to have to throw. He does, and it's caught by Woodside. First down at the 36-yard line. What a grab. Vogel found him across the middle, and Woodside dove for it, caught it. And if this is a Saturday or a Sunday game on television, it's under review. <laughs> but it's not here, and it's a first down, and it's two huge catches oh. and one huge block by Will Woodside. Balls at the 36-yard line, first down. 10.40 left and a half, and New Coins on the march, 20-7. to seven. They lead it. High formation. Fournier wants to cut outside. He will break one tackle. He'll churn his way down to the 35 for a yard. The coin trying to get outside, Jim. The only thing they've been able to do really is run the option outside. Yeah, they've been susceptible because they're so aggressive at pursuing the football, Steve. It's going to take some counters, cross bucks, a lot of misdirection um, because they flow to the ball in a hurry. But if you can catch them going there and send somebody in the opposite direction, it's been there. Jones is tied in on the wide side. Lee and Wood side of the near side eye formation. Vogel's going to throw. He's got Jones wide open, and Jones is going to... Oh, a nice play. A nice play by number five to knock it down. Shane Johnson, 6'4", Jim, against the 6'4", Jones, and that was the difference on that play. Oh, that might have been a touchdown. Sure was. Third down and nine from the 35, and I'd say A.J. Hill is not thinking about a pooch punt if he can't make it here. 20 to 7, 9.44 left in the first half. Ducoin leading.
Jones the tight end on the near side. Two wide outs to the far side. Vogel. He's going to roll right and throw. He's looking. He's throwing for Smith. Smith has it one hand. And a flag comes in. He catches it down at the 18-yard line. And that's probably going to yep. be a pass interference call on downs. For sure. Let's see what it is. The only thing I could see maybe is Smith pushed off. They were both fighting for that football. They're spotting it down at the 18. Pass interference, defense declined. One-handed grab by Ashton Smith. What a play. Fantastic effort. 9.38 left in the half. Duke Coyne leading 20 to 7. And they have a first 10 and 10 down at the 17 yard line. I formation. Fournier, no, Vogel's going to throw it. He throws it short and complete. Vogel ripped to the turf by Merritt. They were looking to hit Spiller out of the backfield. A good idea, Jim. It just didn't work. Yeah. I like the mix, misdirection there, Steve. Defense that pursues like this. Second and ten. Boy, they got some, I don't know where they're coming from, Jim, but they sent some people. Yes, they do. I formation for Near and Clary. Option. Pitch to Fournier. Fournier is going to get the corner turned. He breaks a tackle, and he's going to have a first down. No, he's going to be stopped at the 10. It's going to be second down and short. And, Jim, you played the game at the option quarterback. You were left-handed, so that wouldn't have been a big, bad pitch. But for a high school quarterback to make that left-handed pitch when he's right-handed, that's a big play. Yes, it was. In a game like this, you're down here. You've got some momentum. Third down and about two from the 10. Ducoy needs to get to around the seven. Stack eye. Vogel under center. Fournier. He's hit and he's dropped at the eight. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth down from the 10. Inside the 10 at the nine. Fourth down and about two and a half or three. I'd give it a hard, hard count, Jim, a hard, hard count. And maybe have to take a time out if they don't budge. Yeah. Here they come to the line. Stack eye formation. Vogel snaps it. Hands it. No, Vogel's got it. He's looking. He's going to run. And Vogel is going to dive and get in for a touchdown. He faked everybody in the house. They bootlegged it. He's bootlegged it right. He's bootlegged it left. He's got two touchdowns. And the Indians now lead 26-7 to with 7.54 left here in the first half. I thought Fournier had the ball. Fournier might have thought he had the ball, Jim, because Vogel is executing so well in the backfield with these fakes and these bootlegs that it's hard to see if he does until... And he carries it out. Great. He actually stops running. He kind of pauses for a second as if the play's over and uh, fools everybody on the field. Wishbone set from the three. Vogel under center. He's going to roll it. He's going to tuck it and throw. He throws it out short to Clary for two. Ducoin, 28. Tri Valley, 7. 7.54 left in the second quarter. This is Indian football on WDQN. Vestibular therapy for patients experiencing dizziness, good kick, lymphedema therapy, and sports rehab. If you want quality rehab services from a friendly staff that is close to home, tell your physician you want to go to Marshall Browning Rehab or call us at 542 1098. 
Evan Steiner, or Jacob Steiner, runs it out to the 36. And Jim Ducoin has taken full advantage of three first half turnovers, and it's a difference in the ball game, 28-7. Turnovers tend to be a key in a playoff game, and especially a matchup like this. Ball up at the 36, 7.48 before halftime. I think if you're Josh Roop and this Viking team, you just keep doing what you've done all year and try to scratch a claw to get back in it. A lot of time left. Merritt resets to the near side, the tight end. Now they're going to hand it up. This is Smith. The flag flies, and he's going to go nowhere. Fumble! What? Fumble! New coin's got it! Clary has recovered the ball at the 42-yard line. They have stripped Smith for the third time in this game. There's a flag down. Let's see what it is. First down, DuCoin. A sideline warning was the call on Tri Valley. Is that three by Evan Smith? Evan Smith has, and he's three. not fumbled it. He has been stripped of yeah. the ball. Ducoin obviously has picked something up somewhere, Jim, on film. Clary just was the beneficiary on the ground at the 42-yard line that time, and somebody, Jones, had him first. Seven forty-one left here in the second quarter. Ducoin could stop. The clock twice. Jones resetting himself on the near side at tight end. Eye formation. Fournier up the middle. And he's hit at the 40. He'll pick up a couple. And Jim, the third level of this defense, it's really a 5-2-2. Two, two. And the third level is where they are really stopping Fournier. Number 45, Jared Nelson really lines up like a middle linebacker, as does Shane Johnson, number five. And those are the guys that have stalled Fournier now for most of the half. El Dorado leading Baroa Forsythe, 28-27. Different looking formation here we've not seen today. Vogel rolls right, looks to throw. He's going to tuck it, and he's going to be stopped for a loss. Back at the 42, a sack. Good defense in the secondary by the Vikings. Loss of about a yard of play. That'll bring up 37 for the Indians. Third down and nine. We've converted every third down so far, haven't we? Well, yeah, we, we've converted some fourth downs. Yeah. yeah. Converted at least one fourth down. Which side of the near side? He's been a big target here in this first half. And now Tri Valley wants time. Tri Valley wants time, and we'll take a timeout as well. Ducoin 28, Tri Valley 7. This is Indian football on WDQN. Here we go. Third down and nine. Vogel will take the snap. Drops the throw. He's under pressure. Goes across the middle. Jones has got it. Struggling. I think he's got a first down at the 31-yard line. Vogel was smacked hard as he threw it. It's going to be a first down at the 31. Jones reached out with his back hand and made a heck of a catch. Been some tremendous catches and routes ran by these Ducoin receivers. And Vogel had to make a heck of a throw. Yes, he there. did. 5.59 left in the first half. Our scores Ducoin 28, Tri Valley 7. High formation. Downs has got nine guys in the box. Fournier breaks through. Oh, he's caught from behind down at the 25. Not sure who made the play, but they may have saved a touchdown. He got six yards. I got Zane for 12. 52, Evan Shook from his defensive end spot. Go ahead, Jim. 12 carries, 50 yards for Zane Fernier. He's already got one more carry than he had all of last week. And he's got near, not near the yards. <laughs> yeah. Wing eye, 
Vogel under center. Vogel. Clary. Clary bulls his way down to the 23-yard line. It's going to be third down and about two, I think. Clock running under five minutes. Third down, and we'll call it three. Ball's on the 23 and a half. And they need to get to around the 21. Wing eye. Fogel. Fournier. Fournier up the middle. Cuts to the outside. Racing to the goal line. Oh, it's going to be a holding flag. Touchdown, Ducoin. But a holding flag at the 11. Is going to bring it back. Holding on the near side against Ducoin. That's going to be the second holding call of the day. And it's going to be still, I think, Jim, this is going to be a first down. Well, and the thing you like about that, in the last couple of plays, you're starting to see the offensive line open up the middle a little bit here on Tri-Valley, Steve. So a touchdown is marked off, but a first down will remain down at the 20 and a half yard line. 4.17 and the clock is stopped. 28 to 7, Ducoin leading here on the road. Wishbone set. Clary, Spiller, and Fournier. Roll action right. Vogel looking. He's got Clary. He's going to tuck it and run and be chased out of bounds. I'll tell you what, that's nearly a late hit. Yeah, that, that didn't look uh, looked awkward at the end, that's for sure. That'll stop the clock at the 410 mark. I think if he wasn't under such duress, Jimmy had he had Clary down around the goal line wide open. Yeah. They're, they're quick. I mean, this is a very, very aggressive high school defense. Second down and 10, wishbone set. Vogel under center. He's going to hand it to Spiller, and Spiller's going to go nowhere. 58, Cameron Elam, 225-pound junior, makes the play. Well, this is where Ducoin has really hurt Tri-Valley in this half on third down and long tight plays. Smith and Edwards come in. And Spiller goes out. And Woodside goes out. Vogel comes back in with the play. You got two downs to pick up 11 yards, basically. Vogel from the pistol, Ashton Smith. Timeout. Ducorn will use their second timeout. And both timeouts have came in this formation. Yep. We'll take a break. 317 before halftime. Ducoin 28. Tri Valley 7. This is Indian football on WDQN. 8-5. They're home owned and operated. Oh. Third down. Here we go. Vogel going to the middle. Jones has it. First down at the two-yard line. <laughs> Devin Jones jumped high in the air and grabbed it. And it's first and goal at the two. First down is it? At the right being one. Ball is going to be at the one-yard line. Vogel, folks, is taking a licking, but he has put together... Five of seven, 93 yards. A dandy first half here. Stack eye formation. Vogel under center. Quick pitch to Fournier. Fournier racing to get outside, and he's going to be... Touchdown, Zane Fournier! Zane Fournier. 34 to 7. Fournier from one yard out on the wide pitch play. And he needed one, Jim, and he didn't get much more. There was a collision at the goal line, that's for sure. 
Al Johnson will be on for the second time. The first one, the snap, went awry. And Ashton Smith will be the holder. Johnson, that left footer, ready to go. It's a low snap. He gets it up, and it's going to be up and high enough and good. Heck of a job by Ashton Smith. 35-7, DuCoin leading, 248 left here in the first half. This is Indian football on WDQN. Just in case you do, 24-hour towing, call 568-BODY. That's 568-2639. Oh, oh boy Johnson angled a kick down to the 20 and the Tri-Valley player picked it up and stepped out of bounds at the 21 man when things go bad sometimes they just go bad we've been on that side of the yes, coin we have. a lot of football left 248 left in the first half 35-7 Ducoin leading they have forced uh Four turnovers on the Tri-Valley ball club. And we've scored all in all four of them. High formation. Smith the eye back. And he's going to throw. He's looking. He throws out in the flat. And this ball is dropped by Steiner. He was open. Not sure, Jim, that angle at Sun might have had a problem. Might have, yeah. uh, but he was open. And a beautifully thrown ball by Kusman. Second and ten. 2.43 left. The Tri-Valley Club has two timeouts left here before halftime. Alley send number two out. Mason Cagley to the near side. Here comes a man in motion. And they're going to throw. They throw long, and this ball's going to be, and it's going to be incomplete. A flag comes down, 15 yards will be called pass interference on Ashton Smith. Got him for not turning and looking for the ball. If he'd have turned and looked, he might have gotten away with it. That'll move the ball up to the 36. That ball's in the air a long time. Yes, it was. That's the second pass interference of the half. Ducoin has two big holding calls that they got worked around. Ball's up at the 36, first down. Steiner to the near side. Evan Smith in the eye back spot. Cushman is going to throw. Throws this up for grabs, and another flag comes in, and it's caught by... And McBride's going to have to chase him. They got to 6-4. Shane Johnson in a jump ball. And there's a flag down at the 44, but it's going to be a defensive call on Ducoin. And with 2.29 left in the half, Tri-Valley has raced it all the way down to the 18-yard line. Shane Johnson, 6'4". Want a jump ball on the far sideline with Spiller, I think. That's 6-4 against about 5-7. He's got time to throw as well, Jim. Yes, he does. Evan Cushman, we're speaking, or Aaron Cushman. High formation. Cushman is going to throw. Throws it short. It's caught by Steiner. He fumbles the ball. Incomplete. Incomplete. Jones picked it up and would have had a touchdown. Whoa, Tri-Valley dodged a huge bullet there because Steiner had that ball in his hands. Needed about one more step. Was that Aaron Cushman who caught that pass? Aaron Shane Johnson, number Shane Johnson. Five. five. Six is the quarterback, Aaron Cushman. Now they got wide outs to both sides. High formation. Tied in on the near side. Cushman. He's going to throw. He throws this ball up and a one-handed grab for a touchdown. Elliot Gross didn't even know the ball was in the neighborhood. And number five, Shane Johnson, catches it. And just like that, it's 35 to 13. Jim, we've had trouble looking for the ball all year. And Johnson went up high in the air over Gross and grabbed it with one hand. Hey, 
And the kick is up, and it is barely good. 35-14, 207 left in the half. Dry Valley gets a little bit of momentum. We'll be right back. This is Indian football on WDQN. Lost you, but it's 35-14 on a touchdown pass. 25 Southern Illinois branches to serve you. Santa Bank. They're going to try an onside kick. Nope, they pooch it, and it's going to be picked up by Fournier. Fournier has some room. Fournier is going to be stopped at the 38-yard line. Probably might have been away. Tri Valley got back in the game a little bit on a touchdown pass, a high one-handed grab in the corner of the end zone by Shane Johnson. Kick was good. Fournier has ran it out to the 38. Ducoin's got two minutes and three seconds and a 21-point cushion. And they have one timeout left. Decoy's looking for the right personnel. And now here they come. Dry Valley has some life on their sideline. 35-14 from the pistol. Vogel, flags fly, and it's going to be on Decoy in illegal motion. To delay a game on Decoy, that's because they didn't have the right guys on the field. Wall will be spotted back at the 32-yard line. It's going to be... And Ducoy now has used their last time out. We'll take a break as well. This is Indian football on WDQN. So Ducoy called timeout before the penalty, so it's going to be first and 10 at the 38. Vogel from the pistol. He's going to roll right. He's got time. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be incomplete. A dandy play by uh, five, or number four that time. Zachary Simon. Minute 56 left. Indians led at one time 35 to 7. Now it's 35 to 14. First half action. From the pistol, Fournier is with Vogel. Jones resets on the near side. And Vogel's going to keep it and run up the middle, and he's going to be stopped up at the 42. Boy, Jim, if he could have got by number 60, Thomas Dolan. Vogel might still be going. Now, Tri Valley will call a timeout, and we'll take a break as well with a minute 41 left in the half, 35 14, Ducoin leading. This is Indian football on WDQN. It's going to be third down and about six out at the 42. Tri Valley could stop the clock once. Ducoin cannot. Volvo has Fournier with him. In the backfield, three wide outs. Flags fly. Ducoin left early. That's going to be it's going to be third and ten. Now the uh, Tri Valley side senses. That they're just about back in the ball game. They want one more shot here before half. Third and ten. Minute forty left in the half. Smith to the near side. Vogel from the pistol. Three wide outs to the other side. Vogel rolls right. He dumps it short to Woodside. Woodside is open down the middle of the field. He's breaking a tackle. He's still going. He's still going, and he stopped down at the 31-yard line. Will Woodside. First down, Ducoin, for the minute 29. They cannot stop the clock. 
Three catches, 67 yards for Will Woodside, Steve. What a day. Clock is rolling a minute 27. I don't know that Ducoin realizes they don't have any timeouts left and they're taking their time getting to the line. Here they come. Vogel, pistol set. Rolls right, looks to throw. Looking, looking, flags fly. This is going to be a hold. And Vogel goes down at the 35. That's going to stop the clock with a minute five. It's going to be first down and 20. Back at the 42. Boy, this would be huge, Jim, if you could find a way to score here. It sure would. Get the ball back to start the second half. That's the third holding call, and they're going to decline it. So it's going to be second down. And a loss on the play back to the 35 on the sack. Clock running. Fifty-five seconds left. Fournier in the backfield with Vogel. He's going to roll left. He's under pressure. He throws this up for grabs, and it's going to be incomplete. He had no choice but to unload it, and he did. Woodside was the nearest guy there. Now it's third down with 42 seconds left. 42 seconds remaining in the half. Tell you what I do here, Jim. I think I run a play. I run a play and make Tri Valley use their final timeout where I get to play run one on fourth down. Sure. Run a play, I mean a running play. Vogel. In the backfield with him is Fournier. He's going to throw it. He throws it down the middle, and this ball's going to be caught by Tevin Lee. First down at the 19. And Vogel is taking a pounding. Yes, he is. And we've seen a lot of games this year. That would be a late hit. 37 seconds left in the half. First down. Ducoin cannot stop the clock down at the 17. Ball at the Viking 17 yard line. 30 seconds remaining in the half. Clock running 30 seconds. 27 seconds. Ducoin hurrying to get to the line. Vogel. From the pistol. Going to throw. Throws across the middle. Too high for Ashton Smith incomplete. Vogel got hit again. Yeah. Second down and 10. The clock stopped with 16 seconds. 15.9 to be exact. Thirty-five fourteen to coin leading here before halftime. Second down and ten. Fifteen seconds left. Fifteen seconds remaining in the half. Two wideouts to the near side. Jones is on him. He rolls left. Looks, looks, throws across the middle. Almost caught. Jones had it in his hand, and it was stripped at the last second by Mason Kegley in the end zone. 11 seconds left. Got time for two quick plays, maybe, Jim. Oh, yeah. I might come back to that one. Yeah. Bring up third down. Yeah. I hate to say it, but what you cannot afford is some type of goofy interception, and they return one to distance. And they've got the guys to do it. Third down, 11 seconds left. First half. The coin's got basically two shots at the end zone. Direct snap coming. Fournier is going to throw it. Throws this up for grabs, and it's picked off like I said. And he's coming down the sidelines, and Higgins, they're going to drop him out of bounds. 
Number five, Johnson picked it off. He's had a big first half, Shane Johnson. Two seconds left. Two seconds left in the half. You better know we're 22, 21, and five are at all times here. Where you back up about 30 yards and make sure it stays in front of you. Kyle Robinson has come in and Gross has went out. Cushman under center. He's going to drop. He's looking. He's going to throw it downfield, and the guy is going to be. That's got. It. They're going to throw anything. It's offensive pass interference, and it's no call, and the half is ended. Our score: Ducoin 35, Tri Valley, the defending state champion, 14. And Jim, you saw in that second quarter. Why right they're the defending state champion. We'll talk about after this message. 35-14 at halftime. This is Indian football on WDQN. Ward will kick it off. Headed to the west end of the field here. Sun's still high in the sky. Here we go. Pooch kick. This is going to. This is trouble. Milam fair catches it at the 35. What a heads up play by Wesley Milam to fair catch it at the 35 yard line. What a play, Jim. Yeah, to be a sophomore and be thinking that far in advance has tremendous play. First down, Ducoin at the 35. Those are the little plays you got to make, Steve, in a game like this. Yeah. Well, though hobbling onto the field, he's he's obviously not appears not at full song. Here we go, eye formation, Spiller and Fournier in the backfield, two wideouts to the near side. Quick pitch to Fournier. Fournier cuts, goes down. He got. 45, Nelson, the linebacker, stopped him for a loss of one. I thought he had big yards, Jim. Yeah. There he comes in. Nelson's starting to put together quite a game for Tri-Valley. He's in the middle of that defense. Second down and 12. It's not how you want to just drive to start. High formation. Vogel. Fournier, Fournier, oh, and he had a big hole, and Nelson closed it at the 36. Oh, he had a hole. Jared Nelson, 5'10", 180. He may have saved a touchdown there, Jim. He saved one there. So the Indians are nine yards away from going three and out here to start this third quarter. Looks like now they're starting to take out a linebacker and put in an extra defensive back to combat this passing game, Steve. 26 is yeah. in the game. Harley Justice. Third and nine. What side of the near side? What side? Too much time. We got flags. Too much time on Ducoin for the second time today. First time they used the timeout. Well, the Tri Valley sideline is you're gonna alive here. See a big dose of 33 coming off the ball right yeah. here. Jones the tight end on the near side. Smith and Woodside flanked out. Vogel's going to throw. He's under pressure. He's rolling right. He's rolling. He turns it up, and he trips and dives, and he's going to be short of the first down. Up at the 42-yard line, and it's going to be fourth down and three, and Ducoin looks like they're going to punt for the first time today. Man. Good effort, good thought. Thought he could get there. Fourth and three. If you had a hard count, that would be the time to use it. 
Smith and Steiner are deep. It's a huge play. Fake. Fake. And Spiller He's just close. spins where they spot him. He's close. He's close. He's at the 45. They spot him at the 45. It's a fake to Spiller. I think he got it. And Ducoin got it. <laughs> what a call. Direct snap to Anthony Spiller over the right side for a fake punt first down. Ducoin has it first down at their own 45. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Bravo. This game's got it all right now. Breaks the huddle. Wishbone formation. Hand off Fournier. Fournier breaks a tackle. He'll get three up to the 47, maybe the 48. Again, Jim. Nelson, Jared Nelson from his, we'll call it a middle linebacker spot, stopped the big play. They pick up four. It's going to be second down and about six. They got nine guys in the box. Fournier tries to cut outside, breaks the tackle, and here comes the hold. Here comes the, what's that, Jim, the fourth holding call yeah. of the day for Ducoin. No, illegal shift. Illegal shift on Ducoin. And Jim, from the body language in this start of the third quarter, Ducoin looks like the team that's trailing by 21. And they're, they're looking, they look a little banged up. It'll be march it back five uh, five past the. Well, that's a six-yard markoff. That's more than five. Got an extra step in there. Yes, he did. It went from second down and six to second and twelve. Forty-three yard line. High formation. They've got to get the clock rolling. They've stopped it. It's a good move when you're the hometown scorekeeper. Inside it, Spiller, and he's got room. Spiller, first down down the sidelines, and here comes a hold. At the 41, it's going to be a holding call. Spiller went out of bounds at the 31. That should be enough for, won't be a first down. It's going to be, it's going to be second down from the 49, that is the, definitely now, that's the fifth, fourth or fifth holding call. Ball's going to be back to 49. It's going to be second down and six. So after all that, this is about where Fournier was. Yes, it was. Three plays ago. Clock running. DeCoin taking their time between plays. It's pretty obvious, Jim. Yeah. High formation. Fournier out there he goes. Down the sidelines. He's racing. Steiner's trying to catch him and he won't do it. A blast play over the right side. At the 7.47 mark of the third quarter, and it's 41 to 14, Ducoy now. And Jim, as you can probably hear at home, folks, yeah. it's quiet on the Viking sideline now. That for the moment. just done it. No, it didn't. Well, I mean, <laughs> as far as getting their fans, they've been in this game the whole game, but you can hear a pin drop over here right now. Second down and five from the 45, was it not, Jim? And Correct, 51 yards. Here's the kick. High floater by Johnson is good, and the Indians lead it 42-14 to 14 over Tri-Valley with 7.47 left here in the third period. This is Indian football on the road to Champaign. On WDQN.
Why not let us make life a little easier? Call us at five. High floater. One zero zero six. Smith at the eighteen. Talk with you about the next step. He's gone. Evan Smith, eighty-two yards, touchdown. On the kickoff return, eighty-two yards. No one in a white jersey touched him. Forty-two to twenty. Seven thirty-five left in the third. Ward is on for the point after. Kick is up. Sidewinding kick is good. 42-21. 7.35 left in regulation, you might say here. <laughs> this is Indian football on the road to Champaign on WDQN. Oh, without a doubt. The Medical Shop Pharmacy on Main Street in downtown Duquesne. Fournier picks up a looping kick down at the 30 and runs it up to the 35, and that's where Duquesne will start. Here, their second possession of the third quarter. 50. One yard run by Fournier and a 82 kick yard kickoff return by Evan Smith. And both teams have traded scores here in the third quarter. And again, Jim, we'd like to see another long drive here. I would. I'd like to see I'd like to see us be able to start running this football in the middle. High formation. Quick pitch out to Fournier. He's trying to get outside, and he will get a few yards. And Vogel, after the play, got hit by 52. After he handed off, they're hitting Vogel, Jim, every play. Yeah, they might have somebody spying him after that uh, performance in the first half with his ball fakes. Second down and six, we'll call it. Ball up around the 39. Fournier. Oh, he's crushed by... Fournier is crushed by Nelson. At the 39, it's going to be 35. That's a helmet to helmet. Smack down there. Third down and a long five. 6.20 left in the third quarter. This is the type of play, Jim, where that option worked in the first half. Wing eye. Vogel's going to throw. He's under pressure. He's going to have to throw it. He does. It's all oh, dropped by Spiller. Dropped by Spiller at the 42, and he might have been able to turn and get a first down. So the Indians are going to have to punt. And um, 6.02 left in the third quarter, and Smith and Steiner go back in deep receivership to receive the punt one of the dangerous combos and uh, punt return we've seen all year with those two back there. Clary will be standing back at his 25. Good snap. Good kick. Steiner fields it back at the 20. Makes a man miss. Makes another miss. Tries to cut outside. Trying to do so. And he doesn't. And he runs out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Good pursuit by the punt team that time to string that out. So it's 42-21, 5-49. Left here in the third quarter, DeCoin leads by 21. And this is the first play from scrimmage that the Vikings have had here in the third quarter.
They come out in high formation. Steiner to the near side. And they're going to throw. He throws for all the marbles. And he's can complete pass interference on DuCoin. He, it was. There's yeah. no question about it. It's going to be first and ten up at the 49. They were looking for Steiner, and he was being held clearly. Three flags down on the field. That's the third pass interference call on DuCoin today. Folks, I'm telling you at home, this game is a long, long, long way from being over. Ball's up at the 47. High formation. Smith is a tailback. And they're going to throw. And he's going to rush. He dumps it incomplete. Ashton Smith almost sacked him. Higgins was back there along with with uh, McKinley Carver. And it's going to be second and ten. That's a heck of a move to avoid that sack by Ashton Smith. Another up with second and ten for the Vikings for the ball rest. They get their own 48 yard line. Boy, here's where a screen or a draw play. To one of the big really, guys. Yeah. To, uh, High formation, Nelson is the fullback, Smith is the tailback. Cushman, he's going to hand it off to Smith. Smith's going to break some tackles, and he's going to be brought down at the 49-yard line, and here comes the flag, and let's see who it's on. Face mask, decoy, five-yarder. That might have been on a defensive lineman, Jim, away from the ball. I think they were chicken fighting that as the play was going the other way. Five yards down to the 43. And Jim, I think fatigue is going to be a factor in this game before it's over with. Yeah. Second down and two. So bring up a second and Tri Valley's on the march. Yeah. High formation, Cushman, option, fullback, Nelson, stopped by Jake Patterson at the 40, that'll be a first down. That was a deceptive five yard gain. Ball is at the 40. High formation. Cushman. Gonna throw down the sidelines. He runs out of bounds. This ball. Here comes another flag in. I think he ran out of bounds. Let's see what it is. I think once you leave the field, he didn't look like he got shoved out. But uh He was clearly out of bounds by a couple steps. The illegal receiver is what they're going to call. Guy ran out of bounds. That's a big one. That's a huge one. Balls all the way back to the 45 yard line. And Jim, as long as that ball's in the air, we have yeah. got to get Donovan McBride or somebody has got to get to the ball. That one there, he didn't even look to see if the kid was open. He just threw it. Johnson's the wideout on the far side. Eye formation. Flags fly, and I believe somebody, we got illegal procedure on Tri Valley. Pushes them back five more. This is where you got to be leery of that screen pass, Jim. Yeah. Or maybe even a draw. Not like they're going to try and get it all back on one play. Yeah, here. but boy, the way yeah. if they have a draw play. Yep. On first down and uh, thirty. Get. And could get Smith free. He could break it. 
4.59 left in the third quarter. That seems like it's taking forever. 42-21, Ducoin leading. Double wing formation. Cushman under center. And he's going to throw it. He's under pressure. He lobs it. Somebody picked this ball off. And Smith caught it. Smith has it. Evan Smith caught it, and he's out of bounds. Down at the 38, it's going to be second down and nine. Boy, Jim, he jumped high in the air and came yes, down in bounds. Ashton Smith was right there. Second down and seven now from the 37. They sent him in motion, and he came near side and just turned it up. And Cushman floated the ball out there to him. And that stops the clock at 4.54 to play here. Cushman under center, eye formation. Rolls. He's under pressure. Hit as he throws it. This ball is incomplete. Donovan McBride knocked it down. Tri Valley wanted a pass interference call, and I'm not sure they shouldn't have got one. Third down. Boy, they were all over Cushman as he threw that ball. Yes, they were. That's good pursuit. Third down and seven. They need to get down to the 30. The ball's at the 37. 42-21. Ducoin holding on to a precarious three-touchdown lead. 4.48 left here in the third quarter. Double wing formation. Here comes Steiner in motion. They're going to roll. He's going to throw. Great sack by Ashton Smith back at the 47. Fourth down. They'll spot him at the 45. It's going to be fourth and 15. And Jim, you can bet you can bet that out and up is going to be what they're looking yep. for here. Smith's had a heck of a day. He has. Great job coming off the edge, untouched there on the blitz. He had him a couple plays before. This time he didn't let him get away. Fourth and 15, Johnson to the near side, Steiner to the far side, Smith in the backfield. High formation. He's going to throw. Throws it short, quick. Ball's up for Johnson, and it's incomplete out of bounds. Incomplete out of bounds. Zettler was there. Or Kyle Robinson was there in defense. And Jim Ducoin has held. And they'll take over up at the 45 with 4.01 left here in the third quarter. Outstanding defensive effort right there just to bend but not break as they were moving down the field. Found a way to get the big stop. I don't know if he would have caught it, if he could have came down in bounds or not, but Kyle Robinson was step for step with him. Now Ducoin will call time. And Vogel, Vogel is not able to take a snap. Ashton Smith is going to be the quarterback. We'll take time out and be right back. This is Indian football on WDQN. Folks, what a turn of events here. Jared Vogel, or Caleb Vogel, Caleb Vogel could not answer the bell on this drive, and Ashton Smith is going to be called upon to be the quarterback. Smith already has a sack. Two forced fumbles and a catch. Now he will take it under center, eye formation. Smith, the quarterback. He's going to hand it to Clary. And Clary is going to get up over the 45 to the 48-yard line. I'm looking for Vogel on the sideline. I, I seen see him. He's okay. sitting down on the bench. He walked to the bench and sat down under his own power. Second down and seven. 335 left here in the third quarter. Ducoin 42. Tri Valley 21. Smith from the pistol. 
He's going to keep it himself, and he breaks one tackle, and he'll run out of bounds at the 50. It'll be third down and five. I wonder, Jim, if this concussion protocol has not been invoked on Vogel. It could be. He's taken a number of shots. And that'll bring it for five for the Indians. He's walking around. Third and five. Big, big play here with 3.15 left in the third quarter. Smith under center. Gives it to Fournier and he goes nowhere. So the play action stuff, Jim, and the bootlegging that Vogel worked so well in the second half, in the first half, they are really keen on Smith. They know that he's the backup. So that for the second time this quarter, Clary will be kicking to the dangerous Steiner and Smith. He's back at his own 37. Good snap. He kicks it out of bounds. They're going to get great field position at about the 40-yard line. They did not want to get a return, and they're going to give, after basically a three and out, on the fourth down stop at the 41-yard line is where they will take over. And A.J. Hill is talking to Vogel on the sidelines. So now, here is Tri-Valley's offense. Cushman calls a lot of signals, sends a man in motion. He's going to keep it to fullback up the middle, and he's gone. Nelson. 59 yards, touchdown, it's 42 to 27. Jared Nelson. He's been their go-to guy, six carries, 93 yards, two touchdowns. Here comes a kick by Ward. And it's going to be offsides on DuPont. And that's going to move it to the one and a half. And it may change the play calling by Josh Roop. Looks like he's still going to kick it from the 10. 42-27, 227 left in the third quarter. Snap, kick, good. 42-28, 227 left in the third quarter. This is Indian football on WDQN. Here is Jake Ward's kick. We've got ourselves a ball game, folks. It's a squibber. This ball needs to be covered, and it is at the 40 by Spiller, Anthony Spiller. And let's see who the quarterback will be for the Indians. Here comes Vogel. Vogel hobbling on the field. First and ten up at the 41. Clary and Fournier in the backfield. High formation. And it's going to be Fournier. He tries to get outside. He's going to lose. He's still on his feet. And he makes something out of nothing and gets up near the 45 yard line. What? <laughs> Showed tremendous balance on that play, Steve, to stay on his feet. He got four. And he ran out of bounds, and 2.17 left. That stops the clock here in the third quarter. 
got him at 20 carries and 114 yards. Jim, I told you at halftime, yep. I thought it was going to take 50 points to win this game, to feel comfortable anyway, and it may take more than that. High formation. Ten guys in the box. Fournier stopped in the, his tracks at the 45. Third and six. And, and Jim Ducoin is clearly looking winded. They are, Steve. Tri Valley has all the momentum. Other than a 51 yard Fournier touchdown run in this quarter, they've got a kickoff return for a touchdown, a long run to put them back within two scores. Fournier under, or Vogel under center. Inside trap to, four, to Spiller. Spiller charges his way, and he might have got a first down at the... Here comes a late flag in. A late flag at the 49. Another, let's see. Dead ball. Personal foul. Try Valley. So it's going to be a first down down at the 35-yard line. Great hard running, Jim, by Anthony Spiller just to make this play close. Six of the toughest yards he's run all day, Steve. That was great second, third, fourth, fifth effort right there to get the first down. That inside trap play, DuCoin has got a lot of mileage out of that over the years. Different formations, but Spiller runs it very well. And now you're down where you got four downs to get 10 yards down at the 34. And the clock running with a minute 30. It should run when the play goes off. Clock should be running. The clock should be running. The clock should be running. Yeah. And finally, it starts at the 130 <laughs> mark here. High formation. Vogel under center. Clary. Clary. Busts his way down near the 32. He'll pick up a couple. And Jim, boy, it looks like Clary is so close from making something happen on that fullback dive play. Well, if you've ever needed a touchdown with a 14-point lead, Now's the time. Second down and eight from the 32. Forty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Vogel under center. Waits. Now he sets the attack. Fournier over the right side. Gets down to the 30. That will be the last play of the third quarter. Fournier is stopped there at the 31. And it'll be third down and about six when we return because Ducoin will not run another play. And one of their big fellows is hurt, number 58. So we've played, they've got a they've stopped an injury timeout with five seconds left, and that's gonna run the clock down and we will. Go to the fourth quarter with the Indians leading 42 to 28 over the Vikings. This is Indian football on the road to Champaign on WDQN. It's going to be third down and seven here. The ball is on the 31. They need to get down to the 25, maybe the 24 for a first down. Maybe 12 minutes left in somebody's season. The winner plays Moreau Foresight next week. Third down and seven from the 31. Which side of the far side? Fournier's the lone back. Smith on the near side. Vogel. Hands off. Up the middle. Breaks a tackle. It's Fournier and he stopped at the 29. It's going to be fourth down. And probably five. Fournier slow getting up. Fourth and a good five and a half. 
You've already used the uh, inside trap. Ducoin has not attempted a pass that I can remember in the first, in the third quarter. The 25 second clock is rolling. Ducoin's going to have to hurry to get the playoff. And Vogel is saying something to the referee, and he's going to run it down and take a second time out, I believe. The coin uses their second timeout with 11.05 left in the fourth. We'll take a break as well. This is Indian football on WDQN. Here come the Indians after their second timeout of the half. Fourth down and a, at least five. Ball's at the 29. They need to get over the 25, down near the 24, maybe to the 23 and a half. Cornier is in the backfield with Vogel. Here we go. We're going to try to get him to jump off sides, it seems like. Now he's changing the play. Low snap. Fournier picks it up. Stopped in the backfield. Tri-Valley ball at the 34-yard line. 11 minutes exactly left in regulation. The coin is clearly flustered, Jim. They have been since the, really since Smith ran that kickback on the kickoff right after Ducoin's answer. Now they've got Merritt flanked out here. 6-4 as well. And it's going to be an option play. Cushman, he keeps it, and he stopped at the 36. He'll get about wow. three up to the 37. They're no huddling. No huddle. Option near side, the fullback. He stopped knee down at the 39. It's going to be third down and about six. I don't know who made the play. It was a heck of a play by the Indians. Now they huddle. They're down by two scores. You know they'll go for it if they don't get it here. Cushman, double wing set like Nashville runs. Under center is Cushman. He's going to throw and dead ball. Illegal procedure on Tri-Valley. They were looking. They were going to throw it near side to Hunter Merritt, six foot four, 203 pound senior. Now it's going to push him back. It's going to be third down and ten. Ten minutes, four seconds left. The clock running. Now it's, there we go. Good, good hometown uh, timekeeper does that for you, Jim. Here comes Kusman under center. He's going to throw it. Throws it down the middle. This ball's going to be picked off by McBride. McBride is down at the 44. When Ducoin needed a defensive stand by a backfield member on the defensive side, they get one from Donovan McBride. First down, Ducoin at the Tri-Valley 45. Sixth turnover by Tri-Valley. Now you must, must get this back more than a two-score lead. At least eight, four minutes off Four the or clock, five so. minutes anyway, Jim. I agree. Vogel hobbles onto the field. Tevin Lee comes in with him. Eight. Ball's at the Tri-Valley 45. Fournier. Lone setback behind Vogel. Vogel's under center. Inside trap to, to Spiller, and he loses yardage. 52. Evan Shook made the play. Second down and 10 from the 45. They marked him at the original line of scrimmage. Nine fifteen left in regulation. It's 42-28, Ducoin leading. Still struggling to try and get something going up the middle there, Steve. 56 is a nose guard. Cameron Elam, 225-pounder. Wing-eye formation, strong to the left. 
There comes Fournier up the middle. He breaks a tackle and he takes a knee at the 43. It's going to be third down and about seven, maybe eight. He had some room that time, Jim, but he was tripped up. 24 carries for Zane on the day, so a workload that uh, he hasn't uh, had to have in a while. He ties his shoe as Ducoin awaits Vogel to come to the huddle. Third down and seven. 8.22 left here in regulation. 42-28 Ducoin leading. Wing eye formation. Vogel has Jones and Spiller set, and Ducoin has just used their ta final timeout. Ducoin has used their final timeout of the half at 8.11 left here in the fourth quarter. They lead by 14. We'll take a timeout. This is Indian football on WDQN. Shop is your place to come between doctor appointments for health information, questions, phone programs, or just reassurance to help you better manage your health. Don't forget to stop in and ask about their immunization shop. The medicine shop on Main Street in downtown. Third down, third and seven, here we go. Vogel. Quick pitch, four and air. Gonna throw it. Throws it long. Smith's behind him. Smith oh, does not catch it. it. And a Incomplete pass, and Smith is slow getting up at the two-yard line. Fournier had a bullet, lofted in the air, and I thought Smith was going to make a heck of a catch, and now Ducoin from the 42-yard line with 8.04 left and a 14-point lead. Clary will punt. Zane doing a good job of trying to sell the run there, Steve. Clary back in his own 44. High floater. Sails it out of bounds. They're going to get the ball at about the 35-yard line, maybe the 30. 35, 34-yard line. Good call. So the interception by McBride. Ducoin cannot capitalize. And with 7.59, and I think they have all their timeouts, do they not? Yeah, they do. They spend, send two guys to the wide side. Smith's in the slot. They're going to roll and throw. Throws it. This ball is caught inbounds by Steiner. Zettler did all he could yes, do he up at the 42-yard line. Jim, to me, it's obvious that Caleb Vogel is unable to do much, including throw the football. Yeah. Second down and two. They shift their attack. Here comes, here comes Steiner, and he's got some room. He breaks the tackle. And he's tripped up for a first down. Donovan McBride saved a big gainer down at the 45. McBride, 7-15 left here in regulation. Drive Alley on the move. Cushman, going to throw, he has all kinds of time, he's rolling, he's holding call, just throws it, that should have been a, maybe an intentional grounding, there's a hold, there's got to be a hold I would guess on Tri-Valley, Devin Jones was chasing the quarterback, ball, the flag's at the 47, holding on Tri-Valley, let's go push him back over to their side of the ball, back down around the 43 yard line. Interesting part about that play, Steve. I only saw him send one guy out in the route. I wonder if it wasn't was blanketed. I mean, there, there's. I wonder two. if it wasn't going to be a screen play or something. Something, yeah. Jones blew it up though. Yes, he did. First and 20. Kusman under center. 
He's going to throw it. Throws it down the middle, and it's too high. And a oh. pass interference on McBride. I don't like that call. Jim, but why even jump? Yep. I... So that's going to move it from the 43. Basically offsets the holding call, doesn't it? It's going to be second down, or first down, at the 42-yard line. It's going to be first and seven. They were looking for Johnson across the middle, and it was well overthrown. There's no such thing as an uncatchable ball in high school football. Cushman under center. Going to throw. He's under pressure. Jones <laughs> stiffed him to the turf. Back at the 48. Devin Jones looked like he was shot out of a cannon. They're going to spot him back at the 47. 6.33 left here in the fourth quarter. Big time play by Boy, a senior when you need one, And Steve. you need a stop here in the worst, worst way. Second and 12 for the Vikings. You got a, a turnover on downs is what you need here. Second down and 12. Wide outs to the far side. He's going to throw. And he throws down the middle. The guy's wide open, incomplete. Over his head. And it's going to be third and 12. Six oh eight remaining in the game. With 6.08 left here in the fourth period. 42-28, DuCoin trying to hang on three and a half hours away from home and live to see the quarterfinals next week. Balls down at the 47. Cushman under center. Resets his tight end. Better watch 22 coming in motion. They're going to hand it to 22. He's trying to get outside. He will make a guy miss, and he won't make... A couple more misses. McBride and Zettler stop him. It's going to be fourth down and nine from the 44. Good job of stringing that out and waiting for help. And good job of keeping that, him in bounds. You got it. That will bring up a fourth and nine for the Vikings. They didn't try and stop that clock on us, did they? Nope. 540 left in the fourth. This is a huge play here. Fourth down and nine. Here we go. Johnson's over here to the right side with Robinson flanking him. They, dr they drop, they roll, they throw. It's a screen pass. It's caught. And Ashton Smith stuffs Evan Smith at the 49. Jones was there in pursuit as well. Great stay at home defense by the Indians. And Ducoin takes over on downs at the 49. Ashton Smith, Jim, he has played one heck of a football game here today. Yes, he has, Steve, and we've been waiting for that screen, some type of uh, play like that, and there it was, and Duke Point's defense disciplined all day long, and uh, they were there to make the play. Great job by Ashton. 16 left. Try Valley can stop the clock. Duke Point cannot. Wing eye formation, Clary and Fournier, Vogel, the quarterback. He hands it to Clary. Clary has room and he busts her down to the 50, down to the 46. And now timeout on the play. And Tri Valley will use a timeout with 5.09 left. It's going to be second down and about four when we come back. This is Indian football on WDQN. Second down and about four and a half, high formation. Wing eye, Spiller's a wing back. Clary, Clary, busts his way, churns his way, and he's going to be stopped at the 40 and a half, and I think it's enough for maybe a first down. Let's see where they spot him. Nope, I don't think. I bet I'd call for a measurement here. They're going to measure. The ball is at the 41 plus, we'll say, somewhere between the 42 and the 41. And they're going to measure with 5.01 left here in the fourth quarter and Ducoin clinging to a 42 to 28 lead. 
It'll be third down and one if they don't make it. They're stretching her out, and it's going to be not a first down. They're short by about a foot. We'll call it a football length. The big thing here, Jim, with five minutes to go, and Tri-Valley has used a timeout, is if you get a first down here, you're taking at least probably a minute and a half off the clock. Yeah, you're going to put them in a position to where they might uh, have to start burning some timeouts. They've already burnt one. There's an official's timeout for something on the field. Oh. Timeout Tri-Valley. They've used two timeouts now. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. This is Indian football on WDQN. Now it's a third down and a football length from the 41-and-a-half. Tri-Valley's down to one timeout. I formation, Vogel under center. Jones and Spiller come set on the near side. They almost get Tri-Valley to jump. Clary, first down at the 39 on a right side run behind Braden Lee and Colin Higgins. Now they're down to one timeout and we're under five minutes. The clock stopped, now it'll start. They can run this down to about 4.30 before they got to snap it. Vogel has a little more perk in his step. High formation. Wing eye to the near side. Vogel's going to watch the quarter. Uh, here comes Clary. Clary will go nowhere. He dodged a man and he'll be stopped at the 39. And Jim, I think you need two more t two more first downs for sure that would be great you run this down to the 350 mark going to be able to get it to below three here that's going to put them in a real tough spot high formation for near the tailback clary down to the 35 on a fullback dive play, the 36 rather. 340 left in the game. Third down and seven. About eight carries, 22 yards for Bice Clary today. They can run it down about the 308 mark. Sun shining to the south over this field here in Downs, Illinois. High formation. Vogel. Four air. Four air. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. And he's going to be stopped short, I think, of the first down. Inside the 30. Down at the 28. Right at the 30. It's going to be fourth and one. For the Indian. And Jim, if you can find a way to pick this up. Here we go. Here we go. Wing eye formation. Clary's the fullback. Fournier the tailback. Vogel under center. Clary dives and I think he got it. Let's see where they spot him. First down, Ducon. 2.26 left. The ball's at the 29. It's 42-28, Indians. They got one timeout or they don't? Uh, I, I think I have them with one. Clock rolling. They can run it down under two minutes. Clary and Fournier. In the backfield, Spiller wing back to the near side. Vogel 
Clary, Clary up the middle. He's going to be stopped down at the 25-yard line. A minute 50 left. And Jim, let's take a moment to t this offensive line. Lee and Myers, the center. Rowley, Patterson, Higgins, Jones. They have done a job when they needed to here in the last four minutes to secure this lead and keep the football. They have, Steve. Second down and six. Vogel. Clary. Clary up the middle. Churns his way inside the 20. Bryce Clary, the senior fullback, has ran it all the way down now to the 20. And it's going to be third and two. And there's going to be about 50 seconds left when this play goes off. A first down here will secure a quarterfinal trip to Morella Forsyth next week. Eye formation. Indian fans hollering on the far sideline. Vogel gets the... Uh, Clary. Clary bulls his way, spins his way, and he stopped at the 20. 35 seconds left. Tri-Valley better use a timeout if they have one. If they're out. This clock is running. They can't stop it. It's under 25. New Coin's going to win the game. New Coin is going to win the game 42-28. New Coin advances to the quarterfinals for the first time since 2012. 42 for the Indians, 28 for the Vikings. The 24-game winning streak is over. The state champion, there will be a new 2A state champion this year. The Indians, 42. The Vikings, 28. We're back to talk about it right after this. This is Indian football on WDQN.